It's an NL Central battle between the Brewers and the Reds. There's a Milwaukee fan hoping his team can figure out Tyler Malley, who's at 6-6 six and six on the year. Let's pick things up in the fifth inning with Malley facing Jesus Aguilar. 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Malley ties his career high with his 11th strikeout. Bring him up. Three call. A new career high for Tyler Malley, his 12th punch out of the game. Barnhart is 0 for the season as far as pinch hits are concerned. Barnhart behind in the count and rips one into right. That's a hit. Well, that is a 3-2 ball game as Barnhart delivers off the bench. Runners at first and second. Zagurski to the plate. Fly ball, left field, over the head, and Thames misplayed it. That'll score Peraza from second base. We're tied. Zagurski back to the plate. Ground ball, left side, base hit. Votto will score. They'll hold Jeanette at third. Base is still loaded. 4-3 Reds. They've taken the lead. Well, they'll send the pitcher to the plate, and that'll be Michael Lorenzo. Last four plate appearances. How about a single, a home run, a walk, and a home run? Drive! Left field! Did he? Grand slam home run! Michael Lorenzen is unbelievable! Barnes throws him that floats over to the inner third of the plate. A high drive, majestic. Into the sunshine and the sun splash seats in left field. Three of all. Oh, what a seventh inning for the Reds. All Reds this game is they crush the Brewers 12 to 3. Yolis Chassin pitched well. He goes five innings, one run on four hits with five strikeouts, but his bullpen would combine for 10 earned runs. Tyler Malley had a nice day, five and two thirds, one earned run on five hits with 12 strikeouts, but he would end up with a no decision.